NASA just announced astronauts can now drink what used to be their own urine and sweat in space. The U.S. Space Agency says astronauts aboard the International Space Station have achieved a water recovery rate of 98%. That near-perfect recovery was achieved using the state-of-the-art environmental control and life support systems. Advanced dehumidifiers suck the moisture right out of the air, some of which comes from astronauts' breath and sweat. This has drinking water in it. The water is all over my hands, in fact, it rings out of the cloth into my hands. And if I let go of the cloth carefully, the water sort of has it stick to my hand. The urine processor assembly is responsible for recovering water from urine, which is then filtered to ultimately become clean drinking water. The reason this is such a big deal is because without drinkable water, we won't get very far. Water used to be delivered in water-filled bags like this one. We brought them up on... Uh, on space shuttles and of course all of the visiting resupply vehicles. But since 2010, we've got a system on board that can purify the water real time. You don't have to take it out and store it in bags. We have filters and a keg-sized distiller that spins to create artificial gravity and move the wastewater along. And with it, we can recycle about 6,000 liters of extra water for the station each year. NASA says each astronaut requires nearly four liters of water per day and recycling water will be crucial for future long-haul trips to the moon and Mars. Before you cringe at the thought of drinking your leftover wash water and your leftover urine, keep in mind that the water that we end up with is purer than most of the water that you drink on a daily basis at home. That makes the International Space Station its own self-contained environment. That's a critical step towards living for long periods off of planet Earth. Would you drink this water for a front row seat to the final frontier?